It's a puzzle they've been trying to piece together for many years, the past life of this Mediterranean peninsula. Some clues have been found on land, but others are offshore, buried on the seabed. This team of maritime archaeologists are experts in solving mysteries just like this. Drawn from the universities of Southampton and Cyprus, they're diving on what they believe was once a huge breakwater in Dreamers Bay, a 130-metre-long stone wall that jutted out from the shoreline, protecting ships as they loaded and unloaded their goods. And we've now actually found the channel where the boats would have entered and, and sought that shelter. The other thing is it's extending quite a long way out to the south here uh, into the deeper water. So we also think that perhaps the, on the very southern end that boats would have been actually coming up and offloading goods. Alternatively, they could have moored in the Lee in the, in the harbour area and then offloaded goods, maybe using smaller boats to light it to the breakwater. The breakwater runs north to south and was built from huge blocks, which it's thought were quarried from the cliffs above. It's thought it dates from antiquity, sometime after the 6th century AD, around 1500 years ago. But dating it exactly is proving hard. What we have been doing though is we've been taking core samples either side of the breakwater and from those core samples we've been able to identify a moment when the Essentially when it was built, because it gives us an indication of calmer water in the Lee, so on the eastern side, and then an event some hundred years later, or we don't know exactly, when there was obviously some big storm event, a tsunami, we don't know, but we can see that in the core, and from that we can get a date on the point of destruction of the breakwater. A short distance away, the archaeologists have also uncovered a Roman shipwreck, the remains of what they think was a large merchant vessel which sank here in the 6th century AD. It's not how you would normally imagine it. You kind of have to piece, piece it together based on the evidence. So you go in and you find large concentrations of the different pottery and ceramic. You see the large columns from the Aswan granite. We've also found nearby the roof tiles. And so you kind of... The fact that it's very homogenous is what also gives it um, gives us the opportunity to identify it as the wreck. So it, it's all connected within that one area of the site. We've also got anchors and they're all associated with a similar time period and type. For these diving detectives, trying to piece this all together is a painstaking process. An historical puzzle buried beneath the sand and sea, and one that's yet to yield its answers. Simon Newton, Forces News, RF Aquatiri.